We get a check of the forecast and those snow plows out in the city this Ooh. morning. They can take advantage of this this pause, this, you know, that, yeah. that we're seeing in the snowfall, especially here in Cook County. That's yeah, where we have the pause. We still have some snow to our north, to our south, but definitely not as intense as it was. But we're not completely done just yet. We have mm. more lake effect snow that could impact us here in northeast Illinois through the morning and then eventually northwest Indiana into the afternoon and evening. Oh, of course, boy. we're here. We're loaded, uh, staffed and locked mm. and loaded, ready to go. Our Pete Sack is here with us this morning and he has a look outside with our current conditions. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. Locked and I'd rather be in bed. I know. <laughs> we know you <laughs> would be. Thanks be for joining us. Perfectly honest even with you. In, in, <laughs> enjoying my, uh, my my bear's hangover from yesterday's <laughs> uh, that, that stuff. All right, let's show what's going on right now on Live.5. So if you're getting ready to head out the door, uh, be prepared to encounter some snow still coming down at a decent clip in uh, portions of Lake County right near the lakefront here. Light snow being reported in Waukegan. Also light snow Snow being reported at Chicago Executive Airport in Wheeling. And as you've seen from Patrick Fazio, snow covered roads on I-94. So uh, be advised, take it slowly here. We're looking at mostly cloudy conditions across a good portion of the midsection of the viewing area where the activity has wound its way on down. And then we're also seeing this activity coming to an end in the southern suburbs too, but not before it brought some pretty intense snowfall to the area. Let's take a look at some of the snowfall totals that we've seen here and uh, we have a couple of bullseyes, one of them up in the Lake County there in Illinois, but we're going to focus uh, the activity on South where we've had some reports of snowfall totals coming in here. Moments with 12 inches of snow, Lowell with 10, six and a half in Hobart and also nine and a half in Liberty in, in Northwest Indiana. And then we have some four, five, six inch snowfall totals and uh, one eight and a half inch snowfall total in Roseland here. And there's more accumulating snows on the way before it's all said and done. Alicia has more in the snow that's still on the way <laughs> and we still have some more on the way. I actually had a uh, viewer from Zion, the Waukegan area report about 13 inches of snow. So very localized higher amounts, especially depending on where those lake effect snow bands really set up. I want to get you out the door though this morning for your morning commute. We do have the gusty lake effect snow showers that will continue for parts of the area. Remember hazardous travel this morning. Allow yourself some time. We could see some low visibility. At least the good news is for Northeast Illinois, the snow will gradually come to an end by midday. I still expect snow across Northwest Indiana through at least two, three o'clock in the afternoon, but improving conditions on roadways. And then later on this afternoon, I think we could see some sunshine, mostly to partly sunny skies uh, area wide. Once that snow does come to an end across Northwest Indiana, but definitely here in Northeast Illinois as temperatures will just stay in the thirties right now, though, we're in the twenties with our temperatures, except for Gary, you're at 34 degrees, 25 in Schaumburg, 20 26 in Kankakee and Morris. Winds are gusting up to 30 miles per hour, so we do have wind chills. It feels like the teens for many areas this morning. So not only do we have the snow, but we also have cold temperatures. 14 is what it feels like right now in Schaumburg, 16 in Kankakee, and 15 is your wind chill right now in Morris. We were talking about the snow to our south, but I'm going to focus my attention now on this lake, lake effect snow band that's setting up uh, across our northern counties, across Lake County. It could continue to build and continue to move down Lake Michigan, impacting us here in Cook County, down through portions of Will and Kankakee County. Eventually, this is 2 o'clock, moving across Northwest Indiana. So that's why I think Northwest Indiana still sees snow showers through the afternoon, early evening. Here in Northeast Illinois, we are drying out. We'll start to see those clouds breaking. This is 2 o'clock. By the evening, 6, 7 o'clock, these snow showers will then move out of Northwest Indiana, but I still think they could impact portions of Western Michigan uh, by 10 o'clock into the evening. So with the whole snowfall totals from last night, this morning into the afternoon, the wrap up will be anywhere between about six to 12 inches that localized areas. We've seen it. We've already had some areas upwards of 12 inches, so very isolated locations, and that will stay primarily along the lakefront. If you live farther to the west, you may not see anything, maybe just an inch, maybe two inches of snow uh, when it's all said and done. High temperatures today staying in the 30s. We are still going to see winds gusting up to about 30, 35 miles per hour through the mid morning and then the winds will begin to subside later on this evening. Tomorrow temperatures again in the morning in the 20s. That means wind chills will still stay in the teens as we head through the day on Tuesday. Now overnight tonight into Tuesday morning, another weak moving system. Not a lot of snow associated with this, but we could see a little bit of light snow, maybe transitioning to a little bit of rain 
through the mid morning hours and then mostly cloudy skies heading into the afternoon for your Tuesday as temperatures will continue to increase. So gradually getting warmer by the end of the week we will be in the mid 50s by Thursday. Kai near 60 over the weekend. Alicia, you need to call Pete.